fate. Clan on Crate. Sea graves. How the islanders bury their fallen. Oh, 
Blood's course I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. That I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping them build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where's he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Who were these men? My crew. They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar. Wilfred's to his right. And the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in. Leave the red, fallen, Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed. Did they, Wilmer? Oh, hey. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Come on! 
chased them. to find another way. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. this way. They ran toward the caves. Side. Looks like he gave up. Blood trail leads to the cave. Another track. Damn, you're ugly.
forge. Need to look around for tools. Blacksmithing tools, but ornamented. Gotta be the ones Joanna mentioned. pantry. Recruited quite a few men. 
No Hjalmar here, though. of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. to find another way.
a pantry and I'll show you the mice. to find another way.
Myanmar's encampment. They were attacked. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Two people came through the perimeter separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Several men dragged a boat north. Yalmar's man bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk these skelligers. Hmm. Definitely came through here. This is cover. Got hit here first, but kept going. Lost 
lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Took a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Archer was wounded too. Something cooking over there. In something. Uh -huh. Go pee. Hey, you there? Help me! Water's getting hot. Ah, ah. Shot dead. I need that man. No, we win human from mirrors. I figure it out. <laughs> Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! <laughs> no battle! First level. Not eat, not drink. Big E, B. Stick, Big E. Big he bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Can you walk? 
I... I'll manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Krok sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young Ankrait's return. So it started already? Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm, sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Then that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he threw the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Let's go. Winds.
Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. Guess you could say I've never been fond of Clan Tudorok. In fact, no one in Arch Skellig's especially fond of them. Let's get going. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. In fact, no one... You claim Ard Skelligers don't like the people of Umvik, yet you helped them after the giant attacked. When you see of a drowning man in a storm, do you ask what clan he's from first? Point taken, I guess. But your people gave them shelter, and now you've come to kill the giant. Of course we've come. Winning back Umvik's the best way to get those folk off Ard Skellig. Any clan out there Ard Skelligers are friendly with? Well, certainly wouldn't be those Brockvar cowards. They'll say it ain't so. But a hundred years back there, Jarl walked them off the battlefield just because the enemy showed in greater numbers. And Faro folk are cheats and thieves. Everyone knows it. The Twirsek of Anskellig always been too big for their britches. Now Madman Lugus's clan. They're all right. Funny. Thought they were your greatest enemies. They are. But we just can't respect the other clans. Let's get going.
die. Sure, you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Spigarog alone. Couldn't wait. No, had to sneak off as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres, she stayed to claim to the throne then, and you'd have rather gone with her. I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait, still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See you're rare to go. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse on he is! Wonderful. Can't believe I finally got the bastard. Yeah. Smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight.
shoulder. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Alright. Guess he should stay in the cage, then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! As soon as I kill him. for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here.
Let's go. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed the giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Speaker Og. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. Ah, Geralt. How are things? You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? Me dad whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. The wild hunts preparing to attack Kaer Morhen could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. Just as soon as I secure the crown, I'll set out and fight there at your side. Kinda hoping you'd come with me now. I must consider what befits a king. If I leave now, the clan will see it as flight. Think me a coward. I've got to win the crown first. Those hurries get tangled in your entry or
best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, hey? Ooh! Hums are wagging about you. Herald the Giant Slayer. spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow. Preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur glowing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she sold. So. My stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus were near twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Arles? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. not to your liking this is no feast it's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins
Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bronn's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. That was probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go.
cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I would not stick with this. Then come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Turn with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Dew. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn... Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head. 
but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Aldrig. Shit, no more than a kid. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something tore in so many wounds. Mushrooms? No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Dragadar. Skulls played his last. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. A disgrace. The kind we've not seen since the Red Freya, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels, with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardron. Mardrum related in any way to berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrum were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Zeres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. 
Gave another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Erdelrick tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udelrek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow. But so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakam and spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Right behind you. That's a relief. This mead's clean. Nothing here either. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrel. But they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Been burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is secret passage. One rarely used, more like. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I've no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go.
grab a horse, we'll chase him down. sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar on vault. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Spanrigger would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. Hide to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boon of bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrit lucky. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Croc paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. 
It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saris. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Give the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. When long ago, we gave King Grant back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty! I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. 
and I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Care more. We fight them there, nowhere else. Care more and is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Let you leave empty handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. You've got a talented smith. Not I. King Erlen Duncrate did. Erlen Stonefist. So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much at least. If you insist. Serve you well. Send those spectres back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Brando! 
Title, but things changed. How's it feel to rule? Yarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Croc's mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the wild hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. The Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think he'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this.
respect Witcher. Whosoever ventured in, never returned. Got me by on you. Certainly. I got my first deck all years ago. 
back in Sintra, proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yeah, glad to play around.
Congratulations. You have a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You have a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge Krach. I gave him his deck and introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Remist, a vile character, but undeniably talented. Can we talk? You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trapped populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. Great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellige. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven clans in Skellige. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalmar. Thinks first, then acts. With Krach as her advisor, she has every chance to be a good queen. Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. We needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. Trust you'll find her soon. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emil's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I give the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. The Wild Hunt will attack here more and soon. Gonna need your help. The Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, we found Siri. I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl, and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen.
to English. Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle. Grimmest. An exceptional alchemist. But a stubborn mean ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceress is welcome apprentices, am I right? Look, Grimmest. So many formula in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Maybe he'll make an exception. Share them with me. As likely as mistletoe sprouting from right here. talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. I plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. Do not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. Stop the storm, cause hail, 
Make lightning turn your enemy to ash? I advise to address him with the utmost respect. If you value your life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If you wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and what to do it. Now go. Chop, chop. Before I change my mind. I've told you what you must do. Why do you still bother me? 